Oh, hello, hello, hello. Where have you been? I've been here sitting here waiting for you, w- waiting for you to press play on your uh, on your device or to ask uh, Alexa to uh, play the uh, Get A Better bro- Broadcast podcast and Voice Over Voice podcast. Hello, I'm Peter Stewart. Thank you for the loan of your ears. Back again, another episode today. And we're starting a whole new series now about your vocal, physical and emotional health, uh, plus we've got some exercises for you as well. You know what? As I was preparing this episode, I was reminded of Quintilian. You, you know Quintilian. He was the first century AD leading instructor in eloquence at the School of Oratory in Rome. And, and if I'm not mistaken, I'm not because I looked it up. If I'm not mistaken, he said, <clears throat> the first thing to be considered is what sort of voice we have, and next, how we use it. The natural power of the voice is judged by its quantity and quality. The good qualities of the voice are improved by attention and deteriorated by neglect. Which kind of leads me rather nicely into this whole new series over the next several months indeed about vocal physical and emotional health. So in this series of podcasts, I'm showing you the skills you can learn to read out loud to help you lift the words from the page and essentially to help you communicate ideas effectively. Uh, We've been looking at, haven't we, the techniques in areas such as intonation and projection and pace and pitch. And those are skills that you can study and improve on over the weeks, months and years ahead. But also, I want to take a look at some of the changes that can affect your voice almost overnight, which include, ironically, a good night's sleep. These are almost quick fix techniques to help your voice become more resonant, resilient and relaxed. And along with breathing, which you remember months and months and months ago, I said breathing is the key thing. These are at the very core of getting good vocally and on which we can build those other reading skills. These are the skills that you can change, as I say, within a few hours to help improve your voice. And these series, as uh, I've kind of intimated by saying your vocal, physical and emotional health, uh, these series of episodes divided into those three sections, looking at the broad areas of vocal, physical and emotional and mental health to help you get a better broadcast podcast and voice over voice. Now, despite this division, it's really important to realise that these three topic areas are intrinsically interwoven. Yeah, your vocal health, your physical health, and your emotional and mental health. I mean, just think about it. Emotional stress can lead to physical tension, which can affect how you sound. Taking medication to treat a physical ailment can dry out your vocal cords. A long studio session may not only tire you vocally, but also mentally as well. Also consider, is someone who speaks in a monotone subconsciously hiding their emotions as they do so. Perhaps a mumbler lacks the clarity that comes from opening their mouth wider because they're embarrassed or have been embarrassed about their teeth or braces. If you have a vocal injury, could it affect you psychologically and have you wondering, will it happen again? Will I be able to recover? How will I pay the bills? And so make you more nervous. So, vocal, physiological and psychological changes all contribute to how we sound. So that's why I've divided up these chapters for ease of understanding, but also you should be aware that they are all interlinked. And I've got some exercises to go along. So uh, when the the uh, the book version of this podcast was put out for scrutiny to various people, they said, I hope you're going to be doing some exercises. Yeah, absolutely. Loads of vocal exercises coming your way. And I'm going to be talking about those vocal exercises tomorrow as Get A Better Broadcast podcast and Voice Over Voice continues. From London, I'm Peter Stewart. Bye.